Now, the word in here in the original language to bring them up has the idea of nourishing. I love that word. Nourishing speaks of bringing life to something so it can grow healthily. Bringing life to something so it can grow healthily. The next word to look at in this verse is the word training, which can also be translated as correction or chastisement, but it has the whole picture of a child's discipleship in mind, not just the punishment, but it does include that. It speaks of instruction and guidance with the necessary measures taken to correct and discipline when required. And sometimes we can overemphasize discipline for not doing something right or for doing something wrong, but we haven't actually trained our children how to obey. I've talked about this before. We haven't taught them what they should and shouldn't do. Now, I know there have been times where I've corrected one of my children for how they spoke to someone, for example, but then realized I never actually taught them how they should have spoken. Or I've corrected them for not acting a certain way in a certain situation, but I didn't actually tell them what was expected. Now, sitting in church might be another good example. If you're only correcting a child for what they shouldn't be doing, but you haven't actually told them what they should be doing, it can lead to exasperation and frustration on both sides. Training is important, and the word exhorts fathers to initiate and facilitate this. 